Assembly constraints determine how components in the assembly fit together. In this example, the head has to go onto the top of the cooling fins. Let's look at the constraints available. In the Place Constraint dialog box, there are Mate, Angle, Tangent, and Insert types available. We'll stay with the Mate. We're going to find the center line and made it to the center line of the cooling fins. I could click Apply and continue with the workflow, but I'm going to click OK and see what has happened. We can see that the head is still free to move up and down and rotate. As you apply assembly constraints, degrees of freedom are removed. In this case, obviously, the vertical and the rotate are still available. So let's apply some constraints to remove those. The first constraint we're going to apply is a mate constraint between the surfaces. Rotate the rest of that around to select the bottom surface of the head. And we can see what the end result of that is. As we review the degrees of freedom symbol, we see that the vertical has disappeared, but rotational is still possible. And we can see that by just dragging on the part. We're going to remove that degree of freedom by applying an angle constraint. So in the Place Constraint dialog box, select Angle. And I'm going to use one of the origin planes. In this case, the XY plane is the correct one. XY plane, and then select the face on the head. Select Undirected Angle, and click on OK. Notice that the Degrees of Freedom symbol is now no longer visible. It is completely constrained. Another and more effective workflow is to apply a different type of constraint. In this case, we're going to apply an insert constraint. An insert constraint combines mate constraints together. So instead of using mate and angle as I did before, I'm going to use insert and angle. Select the circular edge on the head and on the cooling fins, click apply, go to the angle constraint, and as I did before, select the XY plane and the face on the head. Click on directed angle, click OK, and now all degrees of freedom have been removed.